nation of church and state. We are the church, and we run the state. I was taught that the United States was founded on Christian principles, that our founding fathers established a nation under God. It's we the people. God gives us our liberty, not the government. And that those values from our founding are worth defending at all costs. If more good people had concealed carry permits, then we could end those Muslims before they walk in and kill them. And the ways that political leadership maintains that power is by convincing Christians that we are in a constant state of threat. I want an unruly, uncontrollable American. We, the people, we are taking this country back. To protect the Constitution of the United States against enemies foreign and domestic. Jesus Christ, we invoke your name. Amen. Amen. When you have that sort of heightened sense that God is on your side. It empowers people to do anything they can to achieve what they think are sacred ends. Let's pray together, may we? And they will justify all kinds of things they normally wouldn't justify. And it's not that they're just wanting to win an election, but they want to win history. They want to win the future. When I look back and I think about people like myself, we didn't understand that we were being used. I think the genius of the religious right has been in its ability to persuade so many evangelicals that their movement was all about opposition to abortion. You cannot be a Christian and vote Democrat in this nation. They are God-denying demons that butcher babies and hate this nation. The U.S. Supreme Court has overturned Roe v. Wade, eliminating the constitutional right to an abortion nationwide. This is a moment 50 years in the making. Once evangelicals become ascendant, then so do the questions about white supremacy and questions about gender roles. I think we have to realize we have been in the middle of a civil war that really never ended. And collateral damage in war is acceptable. That collateral damage is human beings. So when you say you are a one-issue voter, that actually means that you're okay with the collateral damage of your vote. Hey, if God can overturn Roe v. Wade, he can do anything, amen? Should we pay attention to the fact that they think there should be a death penalty for homosexuality? I will also take historic action to defeat the toxic poison of gender ideology and restore the timeless truth that God created two genders, male and female. We're to the point where they want to dismantle public education. We're gonna end the so-called Department of Education. We might have one desk, one person, just to make sure everyone's speaking English. These things are happening. So that leaves me much more concerned about the other things that I thought were likely to be impossible. You ain't seen an insurrection yet. 